I'll get that. Oh, hello. Oh, what a nice surprise. Isn't Come it in. a good time? Oh, couldn't be better. I am Sarah Weber. Yes, of course you are. You look very much like your father. I, I'm, uh, I'm Monica Quartermain, and this is my daughter, Emily. Oh, well, it's very nice meeting you both. Uh, are you the Monica that my dad was married to? Whew, so much has happened since I was married to Jeff. Seems like a lifetime ago. Anyway, it's very nice to meet you. How long are you going to be staying? Uh, we're negotiating. Uh, Sarah came to stay and help out while I was still in the hospital, and now I find I can't do without her. The summer, at least. Good. Jeff must be very proud of you. I know what it's like to have a beautiful grown-up daughter. So what are you doing this summer, Emily? Oh, I'm just mostly hanging out, uh, reading, listening to music. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the stuff I like to do. Until I start getting antsy. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Parents. Oh, Monica, I am so glad that you brought Emily. Sarah's been cooped up with me, and I think the only young person she's met is Lucky Spencer. Hmm. How are things going? Well, she seems to be getting better every day. I just keep my fingers crossed. Oh. How about some refreshments, huh? Or, better yet, how about the two of you going off for a soda or something while Monica and I catch up? Hey, you know, there's a new uh, juice bar in the south end of the mall. We can walk there from here. Great. Well, if, if you wait a, a little while, I'll go with you. You know, maybe the girls would like a chance to get to know each other without parents and grandparents looking over their shoulders, huh? <laughs> yes, of course. Emily, do you need any money? No, I have plenty. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. All right, have fun, you two. I terribly obvious. Oh, Audrey, it isn't though. I don't trust her. It's just that she has been hit with one thing after another lately, and she's so fragile. Dorman's murder just opened up a whole bunch of old wounds, I think. You know, that teenage boy that overdosed on drugs a couple of weeks ago? Well, that was one of Emily's best friends. And it was Dorman that supplied the drugs. Oh, for heaven's sake, that poor girl. No wonder you want to keep her safe. But we both know from bitter experience that hovering won't help her or make you closer. Yes, I know. No, as a matter of fact, I don't... I don't know that I know that. I don't know what I know anymore, Audrey, or if my life is ever going to be right again. two of those, whatever it is, large. <laughs> See that guy right there? He is so hot, and you know what? He's really sweet, too. Really? Emily, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? I'm uh, pretty good. Oh, this is uh, Sarah Weber. She's in town visiting her grandmother. I know. Oh, we met at the hospital. Oh. I didn't realize that you two knew each other. Well, we just met today. Right. Um, I'll get the drinks. What do you want? I don't know. What are you having? Uh, I just pointed at that orange thing up there, and this is what she gave me. I guess I'll have one of those. I think I'll have a root beer. Okay, you know what? I'll get it to uh, welcome your stay to Port Charles. Ah, so thirsty. Oh, uh, actually, one of these is for my uh, limo driver out there, Price. It's the lone looking guy out there. <laughs> yeah, I saw that limo outside and the uniform chauffeur. So that's yours? Uh, it's not mine. It's actually my family's, but. Oh, well, it's nice of you to remember the little people.
Price is at least six feet tall. It's hardly what anyone would call little, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes a difference. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Do you have something against tall people? No, well, actually, I have something against anybody other than, like, the president using a uniformed chauffeur to drive them to a juice bar. Well, it's hardly anybody's business how I get around. Sarah, how did you get to be so judgmental of people? Oh, well, actually, it took a lot, a long time of practice with a lot of snobs. Well, I'd say it's paid off for you. Look, just so you know what you're being so smug about, Price is doing me a favor by letting me drive him around. You are driving him around. Yeah, I, uh, I just got my license, actually, but my car's on order, so... Maybe when it gets here, I won't need a limo driver. Does that meet with your approval? All right, here you go. Hey, do you think maybe you could sit with us for a little while? No, actually, I might need to get back to the hospital, but it's good to see you again. Mm. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to tell you that, uh... You were really great last night at the nurse's ball. That oh. number that you did with your grandfather was the hit of the show. Thanks. It was really fun. Yeah, it looked, it looked that way. I'll see you later. See? Isn't he really sweet? I don't know him very well, but, you know, he can be kind of full of himself sometimes. Really? I've never seen that side of him before. Huh. Hey, look, there's my brother. Hey, Jason. Hey. Hey. What's up? You know, this is really weird. I'm seeing everybody I know today. What are you doing in the mall? Uh, I just bought a book. For Robin? Yeah, sort of. Well, what's it about? Well, it tells you how to build a house. You're going to build a house for Robin? Not really, but I might someday. It's pretty interesting. I thought I'd read up on it. Oh, well, th that's cool. I mean, if you ever do, let me know. I'd like to help. Well, I'll let you know. Are you here by yourself? Oh, no. I'm, uh, I'm here with Mrs. Hardy's granddaughter, Sarah. She's visiting. I can't believe Monica actually let me out of her sight. She hasn't done that for days. 